Hey guys, Brian Karp, Sales Giant. Just wanted to give you a little update about the apartment syndication. Just had an amazing call with our securities attorney and our subscription is about a few weeks away from being complete. The only updates we'll need to do to this subscription is when we have the exact property, we'll need to add a few other uh, items in. So what is the subscription? The subscription is similar to the PPM. And what these documents are is it basically going to have a few different parts to it. Part number one will be the operating agreement. So that will say exactly what the general partners will be doing with the fund. It will also go through all the risks because this is a security. We have to have full disclosure that when you invest your money, there is no guarantee for returns. And there also is a chance that it could go down. So it will go through that as well. It will also talk about what we are anticipating the rate of return is going to be on an annual basis. It will also go through the uh, internal IRR, which is the internal rate of return that we will have for this fund. And some other really interesting pieces that I wanted you guys to understand about this. So with our subscription document, there'll be two different types of shares, okay? So there'll be A-class shares, which will be held by myself and Anthony as the general partners. And then what we'll be doing is we will be issuing B-class shares to all of our limited partners. Now, hypothetically, if you invested $100,000, we are going to make each share worth about a hundred, uh, not worth about, we're going to make each share worth a hundred dollars. So you will get a thousand shares in the fund. Okay. And basically what happens is the fund purchases the apartment complex that we are looking at. And we are actually rocking and rolling. We have a, um, an LOI out on three different properties and there's one that we are within $50,000. So I think they'd be crazy if they didn't grab it. But the funny thing about apartment syndications that I am learning is it's not like the seller just goes always with the highest and best. They actually do a lot of due diligence on the buyer and they really want to know that you are going to be able to close because there are many cases where people do not close, right? So they want to know how many doors that you own. Nice thing is your boy owns about 40 doors personally. They want to know your net worth. They want to know where you're getting your equity from, right? So where they want to see the money that you're going to be putting down. They want to know where your financing is, is coming from, right? So it's, it's a little different than the residential side is what I play every single day where sellers are going with the highest and best. Someone's getting a mortgage from Wells Fargo or, or uh, Citibank. So now here's some even more interesting things. Question that came up was, all right, sales giant, I invest into the apartment syndication. What if I need for an emergency to get my money back prior to you guys exiting out of the uh, syndication, which we're looking at about four to six years. So let's say you call me up in year two, hey, I needed my $50,000 back. So number one thing we're going to say is you shouldn't invest it if you're going to need it back. Okay. And our immediate reaction would be no, but we do have ways around it. So what we would do is if you needed in an emergency situation, your money back, what we would do is we would offer it to our other limited partners to be able to purchase your uh, 500 shares. Then we would also be able to, as the general partners, buy your shares, okay? That would be another option. And if both those options didn't work, you would be allowed to bring in another limited partner to purchase your shares. But the general partners, myself and Anthony, would have to approve it. Now, on top of that, if you sold it to, let's say, Uncle Steve, and he owned your 500 shares, he would have, he would be more, uh, he would have no voting rights and really no rights in the syndication. All right. Now, in an emergency situation, let's say there was a capital call and for some reason um, we needed to ask our investors for money, we would be able to issue C-class shares. Right. And it's, it's really interesting how this all plays out and, and, you know, how it all is structured. So I wanted to make a video as soon as I got off with our securities attorney. And um, if you guys have any questions or anything else, let me know. And it's your boy, the sales giant, L-I-N-Y Equity Partners.